Hi everybody! I am back for another vlog and this one, although I am super tired right now, I am feeling very called to make this video and it's based on relationships and trauma. Um, so one thing over my 30 plus years that I've really realized when it comes to relationships is you have your own bag of trauma, generally childhood trauma, that you have to face and heal through or it's going to keep um, harming or traumatizing the people around you, affecting the people around you because of your pain that you're refusing to heal and work through. So when you're looking for a partner, someone to, you know, be your your teammate in this world, um, you have to take that into consideration. You have your own bag of trauma that you're bringing to any relationship. Everybody has trauma, okay? So you have to really gauge and find out what their, what your partner's trauma is. And if that's something that you can actually work through with them, or is it something that's going to be too harmful for you? Is it something that's going to be putting you back <clears throat> versus keeping you where you are and helping them and then escalating further, right? You, you, you want to grow. You don't want to stay where you are. You don't want to um, disassociate more and, and become worse for your partner. You want to face your trauma. You want to heal through your trauma. You want to have support for your partner so they can face their trauma and heal through their trauma too. So the biggest takeaway really that I've learned is you have got to be able to face your own trauma when starting a relationship or even before really. You've got to be able to work individually on healing yourself for the sake of the relationship. If you don't do your own part, if you don't try to heal yourself, then you're going to harm your partner and you're going to harm the people you love. So individually, you have got to work on yourself, but you have got to also accept your partner for where, where they are at, at the moment in their life when you meet them. So you really have to decide and find out if, if by accepting them, is this something that I can truly handle? Can I accept them for who they are and for where they are and for the trauma that they have endured? Can I with, you know, withstand the trauma that they've endured? Because it's going to somehow get splashed onto me when they don't work through it themselves. Their triggers and everything. Um, so working individually, accepting them for who they are, and then also coming together and still working together on the relationship because that itself needs commitment and work. You, you can't work on each other individually and then completely forget about your partnership and working together. You have to still have time and space and energy to work together in your relationship. And another thing that I've really realized is you have got to learn to forgive. Forgive yourself and forgive your partner and forgive the people that have hurt you and forgive the people that have hurt your partner. You have got to learn to forgive and forgive endlessly. It, it's never ending. Forgive, forgive, and forgive. It's the only way. It's the only way to heal yourself. It's the only way to help your partner heal. You've got to forgive and understand that everyone is going through their own shit in their own way. Uh, another thing that I really think is important is if you've made the commitment, if you've decided that your partner and the trauma that they've endured is something that you can withstand and you can help them, you can hold space for them, you can help them heal, you can push through the trauma with them. If that's something that you feel and you've committed to and you feel that that's something you can do, then never give up. If your partner is still trying each and every day to the best of their ability to face their trauma 
and heal through it to to accept the trauma that's that's happened to them that's how they heal through it they have to accept it accept it honor it embrace it it sucks it sucks healing our trauma because you have to you have to stop being the victim to your trauma and you have to accept it for what it is can you never give up on your partner who's working through that and the layers and the degrees of pain that they've endured can you never give up because that's what a relationship is that's what the commitment is if you want to call it marriage then that's what marriage is but that's the commitment you're making to your partner is that no matter what hell is unleashed from them you never give up really just make sure that you're doing your part make sure that you are healing yourself make sure that you are having space for your partner make sure that you're never giving up on your partner because you wouldn't want someone to give up on you and really really engage your partner before they become your partner on who they are and the trauma that they've endured and is this something that they're even willing to face to work through because a lot of people in this world would rather disassociate their life away than to truly face the things that have harmed them and work through it and that's what's killing a lot of relationships in my opinion and again I'm in America um, but I believe that people unwilling to heal themselves, people unwilling to face their own trauma and splashing it all over their partners, getting triggered, now traumatizing their partner, right? That's a huge problem with relationships in America is no one wants to face the trauma that they've endured. And America is just like, okay, I, I don't know about other countries, going to be brutally honest. But what I know of what I've seen here in America is it's not good. It's traumatizing. The shit that we endure on our TVs, on our movies, on our news, all over social media, everything that we endure is traumatizing. Just make sure you do your part. Heal yourself, right? To save the relationship, to have a relationship, you've got to be willing to work on yourself and work on the relationship and help your partner and have a lot of patience, understanding, empathy, compassion, and forgiveness. I hope this helps.